Okay, so I'm going to show you the Sunto DM4 uh, dive software that can be used with any D4 dive computer. So I've got my Sunto D4i Novo here and I've got the USB cable. I'm going to remove this O-ring off the end of this USB cable. I'm going to line up the red dot with the top here with the dot on the watch, twist and the watch has gone into data transfer mode. Okay, now I'm going to open DM4. Okay, so here you can see connected initializing communication, download failed, initializing communication, connected. All right, that's good. Put my watch down. All right, so here we can see in 2014 all the dives that I've done. So let's have a look at this first dive. All right, so activity, this is diving, dive mode, I was in free dive mode, dive time 106, max depth 11.4, max depth temp so the temperature at the bottom and here you can see a sort of a summary on the side here so if I move down into the dive you can see this change so I can see the details at uh, each point in the dive so you can see the profile swimming down staying at the bottom and going back up let's move down oh, this one I was pulling on the rope so I've got a little bit more uh, sort of kind of a bumpier line pulling down slower and ascending faster. Let's have a look at a couple more. Just kicking down 25 meters, 134. See what else is here. 25 meters, um, two minutes 26 on the bottom, etc., etc. So why would you think this is useful? Well, guys that are training to uh, they're sort of training their depth, they're trying to optimize their free fall, they would be able to know where they were kicking to kind of see the, the speed where they were kicking, they'd be interested to see how fast they were free falling because as you go down eventually you stop, stop kicking and start wanting to free fall. So guys that are wanting to optimize their descent and uh, you know check that their speed going up to the surface was constant, I mean you can see I was kicking at quite a constant speed all the way back up to the top. So people that are really into analyzing their performance uh, would enjoy this software. All right, so another thing I want to show you is at the bottom it says moves count, connected to moves count. So I'm going to, I've got my browser open, so I'm going to go into moves count, Freediver HD, me of course. I've got like a little summary of what I've done. And I've got one move, which I've got open over here. So here's my calendar. You can see that I went free diving. And uh, okay, so free diving, 32 minutes, 23 seconds. My max depth on this day, okay, max depth, mm, surface time. Oh, I was on the surface for, for one and a half hours. Oh, so I was on the surface for one and a half hours and I was actually underwater for 32 minutes. Here you can see how I started um, with two shallower dives and then I started diving 25 meters, 25 meters, 25 meters. 10 meters something 25 25 25 and then on the surface and then it was the end of the session um, bar chart showing me how long I spent at each depth and again represented over here in a kind of a line graph and uh, this move or kind of this workout was made with the D4i so yeah that's the web the moves count uh, the moves count website where your where your dives are synced to and uh, the dm4 software and uh, i think that's it for dm4